Hi, this is JB from Nautilus over Arkham. This time we are playing uh, two brand new investigators, Bob Jenkins and Lily Chen, through the return to the Night of the Zealot campaign. And uh, we are starting at the return to the Gathering scenario. Uh, I previously uh, did the deck building video for uh, the Bob Jenkins and Lily Chen decks. So if you are interested in seeing a lengthy video talking about the decks and the choices I made, then uh, I'll put a link to the upper right corner for you to follow and check out the deck building video. Uh, I will put the decks up for a moment here also. So if you just want to see quickly the deck lists, uh, here they are. So Bob Jenkins uh, is our designated uh, clue getter so heavy on the clue getting tech on the deck like lantern block picks old key ring a newer card pocket telescope etc uh, professor william uh, webb is also useful for investigating and uh, of course good economy in bob jenkins so that we have enough resources to play all of the interesting uh, item assets for both Bob and uh, Lily Chen. So let's also quickly look at Lily Chen's deck. So here is uh, Lily Chen's deck, and uh, Lily is our designated fighter for this uh, duo. So Dragon Pole, Sledgehammer, and uh, Enchanted Blades. Also, safeguard to keep up with uh, Bob when Bob goes clue getting. Also uh, I included a bit of clue tech for Lily, so drawn to the flame and read the signs to help out um, Bob getting clues. But uh, as I said, I won't go into lengthy discussion about the decks in this video, so check out the deck building video if you are interested and I of course will put the uh, deck list links in the video description below. But uh, we are starting in the study and uh, this is the return to version. So we have the new study and great hall, bedroom and bathroom locations in play. So without further ado, let's get started. As always, I am playing on standard difficulty. So we have the standard difficulty back. Then uh, we have shuffled all of the decks already. Uh, both uh, investigators start in the study. Uh, Bob has actually three experience in the deck because uh, in the thick of it card, but also two uh, mental trauma already. So Bob starts with two uh, horror taken. So without any more delay, let's start drawing our cards. So we'll draw Bob's hands first. And uh, Lily will be our uh, lead investigator, just because we want probably to burn down the house so we can uh, get uh, Lola. And we want the mental trauma to go to Lily, so Bob won't get too many mental traumas. So we got uh, easy mark. Old gearing, uh, scoffers, catalog, lantern, and bad bandages. So I think we shuffle those to look for more clue tech or something else. So of course we reshuffle the weakness. Okay, so another copy of scoffers catalog. So not that useful, but we got this jury uh, rig, so we can uh, boost. Uh, Lily's weapon with that and I'll actually use these threat areas as my designated hand area so you can see the hand all the time now I'll just quickly shuffle the cards back into Bob's deck okay then we get Lily's cards so one two three four five hoping to see a weapon uh, we get the weakness, we draw, redraw. Uh, we didn't get a weapon. I think I'm keeping the drawn to the flame. And uh, I 
think mulliganing all of the rest. So four cars, one, two, three, four. Uh, we at, at least got the uh, safeguard, enchanted blade, and uh, one spell. So we may be upgrading the weapon later, but it is what it is. So quick shuffle here also. Uh, one thing I didn't discuss in the uh, deck building video uh, are the investigative powers. So uh, Bob has an ability at any time an investigator at your location may reveal to you the item asset in their hand. You may take an additional action during your turn which can only be used to play an item asset uh, from the hand of the uh, investigator at your location under their control. Both investigators may spend resources to pay this cost and uh, Elder Sign is plus one for each item asset you control. So uh, Bob really wants to help other investigators play their assets down. Just before we start, I nearly forgot to add the action tokens for our investigators, so just quickly adding those. And also, uh, Bob has the extra action, so I'll put it on Bob's card. So when we use that, we remember we've used it only already once. So, let us begin. Uh, well, uh, I could use the drone to the flame right away. So, uh, I'll start with Bob. So, we'll set up with Bob first. Uh, actually, yeah. So, we set up with Bob. Mm, Bob will uh, start by uh, playing as. Uh, Coffers catalog. So it's just an item. We'll put it. Uh, I'll put it over here or on the tarot. So it comes into play with uh, five uh, secrets. So if Scoffer's catalog has no secrets discard, you may spend secrets on Scoffer's catalog as resources to pay for item assets played by any investigator at your location. So uh, we immediately want to use this to uh, play something cheaper. And uh, that was our first action. Uh, between this and the second action, uh, Lily will show that we have the enchanted blade in hand. So. I'll use the extra action to play the enchanted blade down on Lily, and I'll place it over here because it takes up one hand and one arcane slot. And we'll use the scoffer's catalog to play it. So three resources. Uh, then I will play the jury rig on it. It comes into play with three. We are boosting uh, Lily up immediately. Last action, I'll play down the old key ring. And I'll use this also for that. So, uh, that was our whole first turn with Bob. So, a pretty much of a setup turn. Lily's turn. Uh, first action, I will play Drawn to the Flame. We'll get an encounter card. And it is a Grave Eater, so it engages us. This is good because now we set up so that we have uh, a weapon to use against the Grave Eater. So, second action, I'm using the Enchanted Blade. To hit, so 
fighting uh, four five against two. I don't think we need the uh, jury rig yet. So I'm five up, minus one. We deal two damage because we used the enchanted blade. So this guy is defeated. Oh yeah, and we got these two clues. And last action. We'll actually play the safeguard. So playing this down. And that is our whole first turn, so uh, no enemies in play, we'll go to upkeep, we draw a card, uh, Bob gets uh, Professor William Webb, and one resource, Lily gets uh, Clarity of Mind, and one resource, and that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We add a Doom to the agenda, uh, well, uh, encounter cards, so... Uh, we are starting from the lead investigator, I'll actually, to help me remember better, I'll mark Lily as the lead investigator with this. Just put it over here. Also easier for you to remember who is the lead. So, uh, Lily gets an encounter card. It is Ancient Evil, so we'll just add a Doom. And Bob gets an encounter card, and it is uh, Icy Ghoul, so... Uh, spawn Cellar, and we are playing the uh, Return to version, so we will put the Cellar into play and place that right there. So, uh, it is just here. At the moment, I'm just... Working it. So the ice ghoul comes into play, and that is the mythos phase. So we'll go to the investigative phase. So um, first thing first, I think we'll start with uh, Bob. We don't have any item assets here to reveal, so first action, I'll use uh, three resources to play Professor William Webb. Um, professor comes into play with three secrets. So the professor, uh, when you successfully investigate, exhaust Professor William Webb and spend one secret, instead of discovering a clue at your location, either choose an item card in your discard file and add it to your hand, or uh, discover a clue at the connecting location. Second action, uh, we'll move to the Great Hall and uh, Lily activates safeguards and moves with us. And uh, last action, I think I'll let uh, Lily check out the bedroom and bathroom first, so I'll actually play the easy mark. We'll get two resources and draw a card, and we'll immediately play the second easy mark, so two resources and a card. And we hit Creed, so take one horror, if you have 10 of your resources, take a, uh, take an additional, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 of your resources, so we take one horror, two horror, three horror. Okay, well, that wasn't nice, uh, I'll take one here, and have to take two here, so we are... I think we need to play the Clarity of Mine and start healing horror from Bob. And, well, at least the Greed is out of our deck now. Uh, Lily's turn. So that was Bob. Uh, let's go to Lily's turn. We'll move into the bathroom. So, after you reveal a skull, 
cultist tablet or autofail symbol while investigating battle rules or remaining action as end your turn. So there are two clues here. Let's try to investigate. Mm. I don't have any good... Well, uh, second action, I'll actually play the Clarity of Mind. And last action, we'll investigate, so we, if we hit those symbols, we don't lose any actions. It's a minus one, so Lily has two in intellect, so we grab one clue. And that is our turn, so we ready up. We draw a card for Bob. Uh, we get 21 or a bust, and one resource. Uh, Lily gets uh, another safeguard and a resource, so no enemy actions. Uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a Doom. So, actually, we advance because we had the uh, Ancient Evils last turn. So, a lapse in time. The lead investigator might decide to choose one. Either in investigator discards one card at random from his or her hand, or the lead investigator takes two horror. So, I'll take the horror because uh, Lily still hasn't taken any, and that is it. Now we have a threshold of seven. Uh, first uh, encounter card for uh, Lily is Chill from below. Test uh, willpower three. For each point you fail by, you must discard one card at random from your hand. For each card you cannot discard, take one damage. So let's just test it. And I'm committing the other safeguard to the test. So I'm testing four versus three. It's a skull, and it is um, uh, the number of cool enemies at your location, so zero, so we pass. And this is only for investigating, so we don't um, lose our whole action for this turn. Pops and counter card, ancient evils, nothing we can do, so we'll add a doom. And that is the Mythos phase, so let's go to the Investigative phase, so I think I'll... Uh, yeah, uh, I'll start with Lily. So, I am uh, investigating uh, two versus... Uh, let's go three versus one. It's a minus one, we'll grab the clue, a bit risky, but uh, we are losing time with the ancient eagles. Second action, we'll move over here. Last action, we'll use uh, the clarity of mind to heal one horror from Bob. And that is our turn for Lily. And let's go to uh, Bob. So. First action, we'll move to the bedroom. Lily moves with us. I'll use the safeguard. We have two clues here. And short of two. After you fail a skill test while investigating the bedroom, discard one card at random from your hand. I am using the uh, old key ring to investigate. So, investigating uh, 4 versus 0, it's a 0, we'll grab a clue, investigating again, uh, I won't even use the lot, uh, old key ring this turn, so last action, minus 2, we are able to grab the last clue. And I'm just double checking, so only investigators in the guest hall may spend the required number of clues to advance, so we need to 
next turn move there and advance. So that is our whole turn. No enemy actions, we go to upkeep. Uh, we ready cards, actions. Bob gets uh, flashlight, one resource. Billy gets sledgehammer, nice, one resource. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add another Doom. Uh, Lily's encounter card is uh, Grave Eater, so it engages us. Bob's card is the Cell of Seal. Each investigator with three of your cards in hand must take one damage and one horror. Each investigator with four or more cards in hand. That's willpower 2. Each investigator who fails must discard two cards at random from his or her hand. So, uh, Bob has three. Uh, Bob takes one damage and one horror. Okay. And uh, Lily takes one damage and one horror. That is it. Unfortunately, those came in the wrong order because Lily would have rather uh, played. Well, I yeah, I don't have the Ward of Protection anymore. I forgot. Okay, well, mm, I think just thinking, I could move, and uh, then uh, Lily moves with the safeguard. And we can advance. So I'll start with Bob. So. Now, let's start with uh, Lily. So, uh, I'll start with Lily. So, first action, I'll attack. I'll use one of these and one of these. So, I'm hitting uh, a 9 versus 2. So, pretty certain of hitting. Minus 2, we kill off this Grave Eater. Second action, we are healing Bob. One horror. Last action, I'm healing Bob for one more horror. And that is Lily's turn. Bob's turn. Uh, uh, Lily reveals the sledgehammer. So Bob will use the extra action to play the sledgehammer. So using the one uh, resource from here and Bob has plenty of resources, so let's hit those. And we'll play the sledgehammer so these get discarded. And we have the sledgehammer in play. So the sledgehammer uh, is a uh, fight, you get minus one and uh, combat and deal plus one damage for this attack, or two uh, double at, uh, action fight, you get plus two. Combat and deal plus three damage for this attack, so this is actually pretty good. Lily. And uh, first real action with Bob, we'll move to the guest hall, and uh, Lily used the safeguard to move with Bob. And then uh, we'll advance, so we'll spend all of the clues. So, uh, we'll advance, so put into play the set-aside hall in the wall location, choose an investigator in the guest hall, the chosen investigator immediately moves into the hall in the wall and reveals it, then he or she must test willpower 4, for each point that investigator fails by, he or she must discard a random card from his or her hand, so we'll put the hole in the wall into play. So I'll choose uh, Lily. So Lily moves here. Test willpower uh, three versus three. Uh, four uh, willpower three versus four. So we are one down. And it's a minus one. So we'll lose one card. 
that is okay. We probably wouldn't have played the clarity of mind at this point. Then uh, we put the set aside at Xeller and Palo locations into play. And we are a bit tight on the space, so I'm just scooting this down a bit. Attic, put the attic up here and the parlor here. Just putting them like so. We can't move into the parlor, but we can go to the attic and we can go to the cellar. Then, Uh, when the round ends, investigators in the hallway may, as a group, spend the request number of clues to advance, and we need uh, six clues to advance. Okay, and uh, Bob's second action will move here, and uh, Bob's last action, I will play down the second Scopper's catalog. And uh, actually, I think I'll play down the flashlight. Yeah, let's do that instead. So let's keep the catalog in hand yet, uh, still. And uh, that is our whole turn, so no enemy actions will go to upkeep. Bob draws a card, we get hit me and one resource. And Lily gets backpack and one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add another doom. Encounter card is uh, for Lily Acolyte of Tumor Dot. So the Acolyte is a three fight. Uh, 3 health and 2 evade humanoid master rule. Ray fused cards in hand. It is Lily, but Lily drew it, so it doesn't matter. While engaged with an investigator with no cards in his or her hand, a cloud of humorous cannot be evaded. It doesn't matter. I think we're just gonna uh, sledgehammer this guy away. Bob's card is. Uh, swarm of rats. Okay, well, I think Bob can deal with the swarm of rats by himself. So, uh, let's uh, see. Do we want to start with Bob or with Lily? I think we'll start with Lily and go check out the attic so that Bob can maybe investigate the attic. With the help of Professor William Webb. Yeah, that, that sounds like a good plan. So, um, uh, first, do, uh, I'll do a double action to sledgehammer the Aklad Mordos. So, I am hitting five versus, oh uh, no, seven versus three. It's a skull. It's a minus one because we have one pool at our location, but it hits. This guy takes three damage and is defeated. Last action. We'll check out the attic. And it is the classic attic, so one shroud and two tools per investigator force. After you enter the attic, take one more or so. Now, uh, Bob doesn't even have to enter the attic. Nice. And that is Lily's uh, turn, Bob's turn. I think I will just investigate. Oh no, uh, we have to kick the swarm. So I'm uh, hitting the swarm three versus uh, one. 
tablet is uh, minus two. If there is a ghoul enemy at your location, take one damage. If there isn't, and we hit the swarm of rats, and they are defeated. Good action, investigate. Yeah, investigating. So, uh, not using anything so four versus one. It's a call, this minus one. If you fail, take one four. Don't. So, using. Uh, we exhaust the professor. Just one. Grab one clue. Uh, last action, I will play. Uh, let's let's have some fun. So playing the twenty-one or bust. I think this is a perfect time to use this. So uh, we reveal tokens one at a time. Uh, special tokens are. Fives, uh, auto fail is a 10, elder sign is 1 or 11, and the others are what the number is. So let's see. So first is uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, 8 plus 11 would be 19. So uh, 19, we gain 5 resources. I I think we can do better, so we can all, always change this to an, a 1 if it looks bad. So uh, we are at 19, so minus 2 would be perfect. It's a 4, so. Uh, yeah, so these are 5, uh, 10. 13, 14, 14, uh, we're at 19, so I, I decide to stop here because, well, there isn't actually, there is only, well, yeah, if we pull a special token, I'll, I'll stay here, so I'll get five resources, so I'll just take one of these, and that is that. Okay, well, <laughs> it's a fun little mini game in the uh, game to play some blackjack. And that is Bob's turn, so uh, no enemy actions, we'll go to upkeep. Uh, we'll draw a card for Bob. Another 21 or bust, gain one resource. We draw a card for Lily, it's a healing ward, birds, and a resource, so that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We had a Doom. And counter cards are uh, Lily's first. It is the Ghoul from the Depths, so spawn bathroom, retaliate. At the moment, we really don't have to care about this guy. But of course, it's a victory point enemy, so maybe we have to kill it later. Uh, Bob's card is another swarm of rats, so Bob will have to deal with those. I'm starting with Lily. So, uh, Lily will investigate, and uh, I'm investigating uh, 2 versus 1, 0. We'll grab one clue, we'll investigate again. It's a skull, so it's 0. We grab another clue. Last action, we'll move back here. And that is our turn for Lily. Uh, Bob will kick the rats. Uh, three versus one. Skull, it's a zero. Eat the rats. Second action, we'll investigate. So, uh, four versus one. Auto fail. We'll investigate again. So, four versus one. Zero. We'll uh, use uh, Professor William Webb to grab this clue. Uh, yeah, it's for Bob. And 
yeah, that is our turn, so no enemy actions, we'll go to upkeep, we will draw a card for Bob, easy mark, resource, draw a card for Lily, uh, burden of destiny, you must either choose one, flip a discipline you control to its broken side, you cannot flip back this round, uh, take one damage and one horror, so we'll flip the discipline. Actually, we uh, just take the damage and horror. And that is it. And we gain one resource. So, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add another Doom. Five of uh, five of seven, Lily's encounter card is another Grave Eater. Uh, really getting all of the enemies, but luckily we have a good fighter in the group. Uh, Bob's card is uh, Chill from below. Test will power three for each point you fail by, you must discard one card at random. We don't have any willpower icons to uh, commit. I think I'm holding on the healing words. So, testing uh, 3 versus 3. Tablet, and it's. Uh, if there is a ghoul enemy at your location, take one damage. So, Bob takes one damage, unfortunately. Uh, we also got a minus 2, so we fail by 2. I think I'm discarding the 21 or bust. Or actually. Try our luck, it hit me, so we remove your uh, First, I need to grab the tablet. So we get the minus one, but um, we flip the. Oh, yeah, <laughs> if it's a skull token, you automatically fail, so we. <laughs> Pretty much uh, botched that test. So now we have to discard three cards. Okay, well, that was a bit of a bad turn, but still, that that was a fun interaction on the gambling side of Bob. Okay, so that was the mythos phase. We'll go to the investigative phase. So. Uh, I think I'm um, so I'll start with uh, Bob so we'll move to the cellar and it is the Original seller, so after you enter the seller, take one damage. Also, Lily takes one damage because we are following with the safeguard. So, uh, Lily takes one, Bob takes one. High school engages. Uh, I'll just take it with Lily. And then uh, um, Bob will investigate. I'm using the flashlight. Four versus two. Oh, yeah, this is pretty ready. Yeah, we need to put the clues here. Four. Minus one. Grab a clue, last action, we'll investigate again using the flashlight. So, 4 versus 2, 0, we'll grab a clue. And that is Bob's turn. We'll go to Lily. So, we'll start by uh, hitting uh, the Grave Eater. And I'm using the single action here. So, 
uh, we are fighting four versus two. Zero, we defeat this guy. And second action, we'll hit the Icicle, four versus three. It's a plus one. Two damage. Last action, we flip uh, this. No, let's save it. So, four versus three. Elder sign, we uh, get a plus two, so we hit. This guy is defeated and goes to the victory display, and I'll put the victory display over here. And uh, that is Lily's turn. No enemies, we'll go to upkeep. Pop gets uh, another professor, William Webb. Lily gets healing words, and Bob gets resources, so. Uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add another doom. So six of uh, seven lilies and counter cardies. Uh, chill from below. Test will power three. For each point you fail by, you must discard one card at random from your hand. For each card you cannot discard, take one damage. So I'm committing one of healing words to the test. So four versus three. It's a uh, minus two. Uh, we'll discard one card at random. To lose the he uh, healing words. Then uh, Bob's card. It is the corpse hungry ghoul and it's formed in the bedroom. Play there and uh, that is it. Uh, uh, so I think we'll start by investigating with Bob. And I'm investigating uh, four versus two. It's a zero, no ghouls around, so we grab this clue. And we'll use the old keyring uh, and investigate. So, investigating four versus two. It's a plus one. We grab this clue. Last action, we'll move here and uh, Lily will use safeguard to move with us. And that is Bob's turn. I'll actually use uh, Lily reveals the backpack. So uh, Bob will use the free action to play that backpack using his own resources. So uh, we put backpack into play. Just put it uh, on here. It's body item. So after backpack enters play, set the top six card of your deck for up to three non weakness item or supply cards and add the, that's them face down the backpack. Shuffle your deck. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we get the dragon pole. Uh, ropes of Endless Night, Talisman of Protection, I think the rest can go back. Yeah, there. Uh, we don't need the emergency cash. Okay. So these are underneath the backpack. I'll just try to put them so that I can see the titles at least. Okay, and Lily's turn uh, will 
obey the talisman of protection. Then uh, I don't I don't think we need the uh, dragon pole because this hits so hard. Or actually, uh, let's play the dragon pole because uh, the sledgehammer uh, we we will deal six damage with uh, three actions uh, with the dragon pole because we have our. Uh, Arcane slots filled, and we would only deal three, four, five with this. So I'll discard the sledgehammer, play the dragon pole, and uh, last action we'll play the ropes of uh, endless night. So the backpack gets discarded. That is our whole turn with Lily. Um, and uh, the Talisman of Protection, when you are assigned damage and a horror that would defeat you, discard Talisman of Protection, cancel up to two of the damage and or horror. So, yeah. Uh, enemy phase, nothing happens, upkeep. We will ready, draw cards, get resources. Then at the end of the round, we get to advance, so we spend one, two, three, four, five, six clues. So the barrier blocking passage to the parlor has vanished. Reveal the parlor, put the set aside little chandler into play in the parlor, spawn the set aside ghoul, uh, <laughs> ghoul priest in the hallway. So the ghoul priest comes into play in the hallway, and little chandler uh, comes into play in the parlor. And we reveal the parlor. Okay, and the ghoul priest needs some markers here. And uh, I'll engage with Lily. Okay, and uh, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we advance, so just removing the doom from here. Okay, so uh, Shuffle the encounter, discard pile into the encounter deck, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until a cool enemy is discarded, the lead investigator draws that enemy. So we shuffle this. So Lily will draw the enemy, see which one we get. Okay, well, uh, we get the Grave Eater, and those get back into the Encounter deck, so this engages Lily. We are running out of uh, space here with the enemies, so let's try to uh, finish this off quickly. Uh, Lily's encounter card for this turn is uh, Obscuring Fog, so it just comes into play here, it doesn't matter at all. And Zeal at Seal, so each investigator with three of your cards in hand must take one damage and four, so both. And uh, again, I would have wanted to hit that with Lily, but it is what it is. So. I think we don't need this guy anymore, so Bob will put those there. And uh, Lily will take one damage, I'll put it here, and one horror. Okay. 
investigative phase, so... Um, Bob will move to the parlor. Bob will try to... Uh, parlay uh, Intellect 4, so I'll commit these cards to the parlor test to get Lita. So 6 versus 4. It's a minus 1. So we get Lita Chandler. Last action. We'll move back here. And now. Uh, Let's try to uh, hit the ghoul priests as hard as we can with uh, Lily. So first action, we are hit with the dragon pole. Uh, we get plus one combat for each field arcane slot. So we have two fields, so uh, we have five, six, seven, eight, eight versus four. We hit, we deal 3 damage because Lita is at our location. Second action, we'll hit again. Zero, we deal 3 damage. And uh, last action, we will hit the uh, Grave Eater so we don't take damage from that guy. Oh yeah. Um, Post at the end of the enemy phase, each unengaged cool enemy moves one location towards the polar. So these guys start moving here, but we have enough time. Of course, at the end of the round, place one doom of, on this agenda for each cool enemy in the hallway or parlor. So we are getting some more doom in play. But the last action will hit the grave eater to be easy. It's a minus two, so we hit and defeat it. So that is dead. Uh, the ghoul priest hits us. We'll take uh, one damage here, one damage here, and uh, uh, let's see. When you are assigned damage and or horror that would defeat you, discard. Uh, Talisman of Protection cancel up to two of that damage and horror. So I'm discarding this, cancelling two horror. And that is it, so... Oh yeah, and Lita also gives us plus one, so that's okay. Uh, that is the enemy phase, we'll go to upkeep, uh, withdraw cards. And gain one resource for both, and that is that turn. At the end of the round, these guys start moving. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are pretty close of uh, making it, so I will add Doom. Little, uh, Lily's card is uh, Collide of Umar Dot, so it engages us, but we are going to be trying to kill the Ghoul Priest. Bob's card is chill from below. So I'm actually committing uh, the Bard of Protection for Bob. And it is a minus two. Doesn't help us a lot, so uh, Bob loses this card. And uh, two, three. Uh, minus two, so we'll take one damage. And I'll put it on Lita. Okay, uh, let's see if we can defeat Umar of this turn. No Umar, <laughs> I mean the Ghoul Priest, so we'll start uh, with uh, Lily Chen. So Lily hits with the uh, Dragon Pole. So I only need four damage, and I'm dealing two with because of. Uh, 
because of Lita. So first hit uh, we are hitting. So plus one, uh, five, six, seven, uh, plus one. We hit, we deal two, and we still need two more damage. So I am using this discipline. So you get plus five skill value for the next skill test you perform this turn after uh, this action does not provoke attacks of opportunity so i'm just flipping it plus five there is only one token in the back that fails us minus four we are able to defeat the ghoul priest so that was pretty clutch but the ghoul priest is defeated goes into the victor display and that is the game so we are able to advance. So uh, if the cruel priest is defeated, advance, and the lead investigator must decide choose one, uh, burn it down. So we'll burn, burn it down. So we get Lita Chandler. Okay, so uh, just checking. So we got uh, one, two, three, four, five from. Uh, the board, then resolution one. We burned our house to the ground. We get Lita Chandler, and uh, Lily gets one mental trauma. And each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each card in the victory display. Each investigator earns two bonus experience on as he or she gains insight into the hidden world of the mythos. So, that was the return to the uh, gathering with uh, Lily Chen and Bob Jenkins. Uh, really liking the new cards that came in the um, Edge of the Earth Investigator expansion box. Uh, Lily and uh, Bob play pretty interestingly and I'm really excited to see how I can uh, build the decks onward with the 7 experience we earned. So, uh, look forward to the next video which will be the return to the Midnight Masks and then we will have uh, more experience on the, on the investigators. So, thanks for watching and until next time.